Well, the king and I has been around longer than our critic of large Greg Moody. But still, he says it has songs to sing and lessons to teach. For 66 years, the king and I has been a Broadway war horse. It's a show to see and see again, never seeming to lose its dramatic punch. I'm you. Part of that is in the soaring music by Rodgers and Hammerstein, the lush costumes, the exotic staging, and yet, 60 years on, why does this show still resonate with audiences? It's not that it simply still enthralls us. It may also reflect us. Even though the story was written in 1951, uh, the issues that, that the story talks about, um, about extending a hand of friendship to someone who you maybe fear at first, but find out that you can actually find common ground with, mm -hmm. um, is something that world leaders today and even in, in every no normal people try every day. Race, reason, and the rush toward change are all a part of the story, which in many ways we still deal with to this day. Um, I think the genius of Rodgers and Hammerstein and why they are the foundation of American musical theater is that um, they're able to tell really compelling stories um, matched along with really catchy tunes. And yet the lessons are so beautifully cloaked in music, character, and story that once again we're drawn into the story of Anna and the King as were our parents and our grandparents before us. Is a puzzlement! With the cast of The King and I, I'm critic at large Greg Moody, covering Colorado First. The Lincoln Center revival of The King and I opens January 2nd at the Buell Theater, the Denver Center downtown. For tickets to this classic, just visit our website, cbsdenver.com.